Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well of course I uh, did the install of 22H2 but using the release preview um, insider ring to see if there was a major difference in speed of install or whatever so I actually um, told you that when I installed it via the enablement package and you have the video with the links once again the links are working so just click the link if it wasn't working the other day when you tried it just try it again the links work the um, enablement package is that file that you download and then you click and install and it took like a couple of minutes and it restarted and everything was okay um, so on the Windows Insider ring I wanted to see if the speed was pretty much the same which shows us is the same package and indeed um, it took a total of about four minutes from the moment I clicked download and install it downloaded, it installed, it restart, and I logged back in. Four minutes was the time that it took, roughly. And here I am at 22H2, which is the next version of Windows that will be released officially this fall. Remember, if you go through the uh, Windows Insider Rings to do it, don't forget to do one little thing if you want to get out of the uh, Insider Rings. Although, being on the Insider Rings in the uh, Windows 10 is pretty innocent if you want there's really nothing much that's going to happen here but if you want to just get out make sure that you go to update and security go back to your windows insider program ring and in here uh, just make sure that you turn on opt out your device of flighting when the next major release of windows 10 is installed which means that as soon as windows 10 22 h2 is officially uh, released you will have this version of Windows f and you'll be out of the Insider program automatically. You won't have anything to do. It's just going to happen automatically. Until now, you'll have probably some uh, regular updates uh, from time to time that are going to be for release preview for 22H2 until the official release. So it works well. It's really quick. It's really a very small uh, update. You know, like they were saying, there's a lot of, um, of forums that I was looking at um, yesterday of people saying, you know, why don't they just, why did they, you know, do, do that? Why didn't they just leave it at, say, 21H2 as the number? And, or if they are to do 22H2 like they're doing now with the little package, why don't you just stop there and make sure that you are, you know, uh, good to go until the end of 2025 and that's it with security updates and so on no yearly i'm gonna have that little number bump up you know because right now what we think is next year you're gonna have the same thing happening you'll have a little package that's gonna bump the number to 23h2 and so on which is a nonsense when you think about it why do that and why you know take resources to do it it doesn't bring any new features, doesn't change anything. Actually, once you're on 22H2, you will see zero difference. And because it's just a small package, if you're on 21H2, I think it's extremely innocent and very safe to move on to 22H2 because it doesn't change anything within Windows. So here it is, 22H2, now enabled through the Windows Insider program instead of that little enablement package. So you have both options available for that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.